everyone. Hello, peoples. My name's Debbie, and I make videos to help people enjoy their life more. Right now, I'm underneath an overpass in my town. It's really creepy because I can hear the cars, semis, trucks going right above me. And this is our river that is going over. But guys, it is such a beautiful day, December 11th, 2020. 2020 vision, y'all. But anyways, it is such a beautiful day, and I wanted to come out and make another video. Such a beautiful day. I have to get outside, and right now I am on a little bike route. You've seen someone on a bike. Bike slash walking trail here in our town getting some of this beautiful sun and just enjoying my day. I am off work today and I decided it's such beautiful weather I'm going to get out and make a video. Now guys I know I've been missing for a while because it is the Christmas season and I work in retail and I've been very busy and I have a lot of stuff to do at home and family so I'm so glad and happy to get this opportunity to make another video for you guys. It is such a beautiful day. It's like 65, 66, or maybe almost 70 degrees. It's nice. I love it out here. And I decided to come out and do a little walk on this trail and do a video for you guys. Now, this is one thing you can do to raise your energy and vibration. Just getting outside, move around, get some exercise and fresh air especially when it's beautiful also another way to raise your energy and vibration is having some alone time like i'm doing right now spending some alone time with myself and making this video but i'm all alone out here doing this alone time is important meditation is important but today guys my video I want to talk to you about perspectives raising your energy and vibration is important but we can't be like that all the time unless you learn how well you still can't be like that all the time but it's good to practice so that way when you get in a low vibe you can get yourself right back up so you don't stay in those low vibe states for too long which can make you sick and uncomfortable but changing your perspective everything is perspective guys everything if you're going through something negative or hard I understand that that's uncomfortable and that's a low vibe for you to go through but if you take on the perspective of maybe I'm learning something from this maybe it's making me stronger take on the perspective of this is a challenge and I will come through. Take a perspective of being, seeing yourself stronger, better because of it. Perspective is everything. Also, be grateful. You know, being grateful is a great perspective to have. Being grateful will raise your energy and vibration. Be grateful for your free time. Be grateful for your family, for air, for the sun. I'm grateful for this beautiful day. Being grateful is one of the easiest ways to raise your energy and vibration. Another simple way, guys, is simply smiling. Simply smiling will help you raise your energy and vibration, and it's something we can all do. Smile at strangers. Help people. Open the door for people. Do small things. Give compliments. Compliment people. Those things like that actually will make you feel better and another thing you can do is practice forgiveness did you know that if you forgive yourself and you forgive others especially when you forgive others you're not doing it for them you're doing it for yourself because when you forgive others they no longer can rent that space in your mind and they no longer have that power over you to keep you down in low negative vibration forgiving others is very very important 
Everybody has to do it some way, somehow. You got to let go of grudges and you got to forgive. Perspective is everything. Maybe that person hurt you, lied to you, um, whatever it is. Maybe that thing in the past that happened to you, accident or whatever. It made you who you are today. You are stronger because of it. You learned because of it. And overall, you have to change your perspective to a better one. I'm sorry, I keep pausing. It's such a beautiful sight out here. I don't know if you can see. But it's beautiful out here. I do have my little tripod. So if I can find a place, I'm going to set it down. But sorry about the traffic because I'm getting ready to come near another overpass and go underneath it. Near nature. Some birds out here playing. But guys, yes, perspective is everything. Your perspective. Take a better perspective of what's going on. Change your perspective to a better one. That's something you can do. Remember, life is happening through your eyes. You're the one in control. So, it's your power. We are more powerful than you know. It's really creepy under here. Check it out. This is what I'm walking underneath. An overpass. Really creepy under here. I don't know why, but it is to me. But anyways, back to this beautiful walk on this bike slash walking trail. I just can't get over how beautiful and warm and nice it is here in December, December 11, 2020. It's beautiful. See if I can get this in my view. Just beautiful. I love nature. Nature is the perfect energy and vibration. And if you go out into nature by yourself and spend some alone time, you can get to know yourself more and you will trust yourself more, have more inner talk and trust your intuition more. We all have intuition, that little gut feeling we have. And if you're alone and spend more time alone, you will learn how to trust your instincts and intuition a lot more. These are things I've learned during my spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening usually happens, guys, because in life you've gone through a lot of rough and tough, hard situations, and it has made you come to realize and come to a spiritual awakening. Realizing that this body is just a vehicle for our spirit, the life force inside of us that res resides. The spirit and life force came into these bodies to have a human experience. And we came to experience love, peace, and joy, and all the great things, high vibration. We did not come here for mad, sad, anger, jealousy, mistreatment, sickness. We did not come here for that. Those are low vibe states. And if you're in a low vibe state for too long, you can make yourself sick or bitter or stuck in that situation. It is just so pretty out here. Had to take a pause. Just looking around. I haven't been on this bike walking trail for a while. Maybe at least a year. And so it's so nice. I may have to come here more often. It's a nice little walk. I also used to ride my bike on this trail. 
so I know all about it. And they fixed it and made it even longer. Amazing. Sorry about any wind in the camera, guys, because I am outside and it is windy. As you can see, my hair. But yes, raising your energy and vibration will help improve your life because your life ain't about making uh, money and getting all your chores and work and things done and taking care of the kids. Those things and jobs or pets or whatever our responsibilities are, there's more to life than responsibilities and money. Our life is important and we're only rich according to the way we feel inside. If you feel great inside and you're wonderful and high vibration and you truly love yourself and feel your cup, that's where your wealth is. Wealth is not in your purse. Wealth is not in your wallet. Because even the richest people can be sad, sick, and emotionally broke. The richest people are emotionally wealthy. Spiritually inside, wealthy. Even if they don't have much, they are grateful. And the way you feel inside, that is where our wealth comes from. You're wealthy because of how you feel inside. Like I said, even the richest person can be lonely, sick, sad, upset. That's not your wealth. True wealth comes from being happy inside. Raising your energy and vibration. Loving yourself. Filling your cup. Enjoying your life. That's true wealth. Loving others. Being grateful. Being of service to others. That's being grateful. Be thankful and grateful for every single thing. We do not want to take life for granted. Because life is short. And we want to spend our days and time loving ourselves, families, and others. So you must learn how to forgive. Forgive yourself and others. Like I said, you're only doing it for you, not for them. For all you know, that person's gone on enjoying their life, having a good old time. And they're not thinking about you at all. But you're holding a grudge. And you're still holding on to the negative things they did to you. And it still upsets you that you didn't get even or you didn't get your payback. And you feel wronged. And you're holding on to that. And you feel like you need to hold on to that because you were wronged. And nobody does that to you. And you know, you want to justify it. And you want to make sure that you just keep holding on and being hateful. And it's not good. It is not good for you. It can make you sick. It can make you have ulcers. It can make you bitter. It takes away from your life force happiness. We came here to love life, others, people, and ourselves. Most importantly, before you can love others and take care of anything else, pets, kids, jobs, responsibilities, you need to know how to love and take care of yourself first. Filling your cup. That's the main and important thing. And that train just confirmed it. Take care of number one. Focus on you. I think this is a good point for me to turn back around and walk back this way. This trail goes on and on. It wraps all around the city. So I can't keep going. I'm going to have to turn around. But it is beautiful. So beautiful and nice out here. Absorbing the sun, the light codes. Awesome. I just can't get over how beautiful it is today. That's why I was like, I'm going to make it a point today to come out and make a video. I'm going to do that. And here I am, rambling on, but wanting you to learn ways to treat yourself better, enjoy your life, forgive yourself and others, because it's perspective. Perspective is everything. 
everything is happening through your eyes and everything you went through and are going through is to make you stronger, smarter, and learn things. So, well, more people coming out. Such a beautiful day. Also enjoy sky watching. So another thing I will be doing while it's not so cloudy and it's so beautiful is I'm going to set out here after the video and sky watch. And of course if I find anything interesting, I'm going to record that and upload it as well. I love to sky watch and sometimes you see some bizarre, weird, strange things in the sky and I would like to update that so sometimes that stuff is on my channel. This is a little bridge I'm walking back over. You can see it. This bridge I'm on. Going over the water. Such a beautiful day. As you see, I've not found a place to put my tripod yet. Because I'm just enjoying walking for most of it. Here come some bike riders. We're going to see them pass me by. They got the right thing in mind. Exercise, fresh air. Hi there. Hi. Friendly, smiling faces. Say hi and smile to people. Be nice. Remember also, we reap what we sow. I've made a video about that some time ago. But it's true. The energy that you put out is the energy that you get back reaping and sowing so if you reap if you sow love positivity happiness gentleness kindness thoughtfulness if you sow all these lovely beautiful things then you shall in return reap that back now if you're sowing a lot of negativity hate hateful thoughts um, being jealous gossiping lying, stealing, cheating. If you're doing all those things, then you also will reap what you sow. It's just the law. A law of nature, a law. It's just how it is. You will reap what you sow. It is the facts. No one can escape that. So if you sow love and positivity into yourself first and into others, you will reap that back. But if you also, in turn, are putting out that negative energy and being negative and complaining and gossiping and stealing and lying and being jealous and any of those things, that negative frequency, then you are going to also, in return, Attract more negative things to yourself and reap more negativity. You're going to reap what you sow. So it's good to know to reap love, joy, happiness, kindness, and know how to. So first, focus on yourself. I got another bike rider. Focus on yourself. Love yourself. And if you love yourself, you become truly happy. It just shows, it glows, and other people will recognize it too. And whenever you sow positivity into the world in general, sowing positive vibes, positive frequency, you're sowing that, you will reap what you sow. So beautiful out here. I'm just absorbing that beautiful sun. So... I don't know what the title of this video is going to be. It's probably going to be Perspective is Everything because it truly is everything. You can have nice home, nice car, nice bed, nice everything and still complain and want more and still not be happy. When someone else who doesn't have much would really appreciate and love that and your perspective is you want more and more and more and more greed. Greed also is another perspective. A lot is going on about greed in the world. 
But sometimes you need to be thankful and grateful. I know you want a better house, better car, better life, better whatever. But be grateful for what you do have. And then more is open. It opens the door for more once we are grateful for what we already do have. Because some people don't even have a bed to sleep in. Some people are hungry and don't have food. So be grateful for your home, bed, food, family. Because being grateful, number one, helps raise your energy and vibration. And number two, someone else out there who doesn't have it would think you're insane not to be grateful for what you do have. Now, I understand we have goals and we all want to improve ourselves and get better, nicer things. I understand that. But your perspective to gain better, nicer things is to be grateful and happy for what you got. That's letting go. If you just let go of all the want, 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 because want is saying I don't have it. If you just let go of that and go into the feeling of already having it, act as if you already have it, feel as if you already have it, let go of the anxiety about wanting it, just let go whether it happens or whether it don't, you're happy either way, you'll be surprised how things turn in your favor just by letting go. I think I found a nice spot to put my tripod down. Thank you for watching if you're still watching because I know I've just been rambling on. But I'm trying to give you some good tips and strategies and goals to help you enjoy your life more. While I'm out here enjoying my life, beautiful nature, fresh air, and making videos, which I do love that too. And I appreciate all of my subscribers. You are my friends. And by the way, if you haven't liked, comment, or subscribe, go ahead. Right now is your perfect time. Subscribe. I notice most of my viewers are not subscribed. So, I would love you to subscribe. Uh-oh, let me put this on my tripod. I just knocked it off. Bear with me one second. Okay, let me decide to put it right here. And see if you can see me. Ah. Uh, Okay, is this good? Hey there! But anyways, I just want to give a big shout out to everybody watching. I appreciate you. Hear that? That's confirmation. I appreciate and I'm happy and grateful for all of my viewers. I do apologize. But I do take that as a confirmation. I don't know if I like the way this is setting. So off to another spot. But anyways, guys, thanks for being patient. Back to my video. It's very, very important that we enjoy our lives while we're here. We came into this body to have a human experience and not all negative. Now you can't escape it, of course. Life's gonna happen. We're going to have worries, troubles, problems, fears, anxieties. We're going to have those. Those are emotions as humans we have. We have to know how to get out of that and escape it. That's why we also have ways to raise our energy and vibration. So we don't get stuck in those. You don't want to get stuck in fear. You only have two choices in life, guys. Love and fear. That's the only two choices we have. The vibration of love or the vibration of fear. Fear, worry, anxiety, stress, or love, happiness, acceptance. And the reason we go through this is to make us aware that we are very, very magical we are very, very powerful. Did you know that you can send good vibe, energy, and love to someone else by your thoughts? You can. 
Did you know how powerful you are? Did you know that if someone was to curse you out, talk bad about you, someone who you love and care about, by the way, or someone who is important to you, says hateful, mean things to you, cusses you out and belittles you, you know how that makes you feel inside? You know how powerful that is? Our feelings are very powerful. Just by someone. Hi, little puppy. Hey there. Check him out. But just by someone treating you ugly can make you feel so bad. That's powerful. It's also very powerful to know how to fight that back. And also very powerful to know that at the same time, we can uplift people, talk good things to them, give them compliments and gratitude, that we can make a person feel great. Feeling, feeling, emotions, that's what it's about. We are more powerful than you know. So it's very important to watch your words. Watch what you're saying to other people. Watch what you're saying about yourself. Do not speak negative things about yourself. Do not. Your subconscious can hear that. You want to speak positive things about yourself and uplift yourself and raise your own energy and vibration. That's why I make these videos, guys, to help people enjoy their life more. Please like, comment, share, or subscribe if you have it. I'd really appreciate that. And thank you anyone still watching me walk around rambling on my phone camera. I do appreciate everyone. This is a perfect spot coming up to put my tripod. But as you see, there's a lot of traffic right here in this area on this bridge and right over there is where I wanted to put the tripod. So it's gonna to be too loud and noisy, so I'm not gonna do that. I just love how beautiful it is today. And I keep looking up because sky watching is one of my favorite hobbies and habits or whatever. And it's just habit for me to look up. So guys, I hope you got something out of my video today with all of this I don't want you to know perspective is everything be grateful and thankful have an attitude of gratitude we are going through things in our life sometimes that are hard to make us stronger wiser or come to a spiritual awakening like you and me Howard right now some of you watching are going through a spiritual awakening just like myself Hmm, let me see if this is a good spot to put my tripod down. I have this little small tripod attached to my phone. And let's give this a shot. Okay. Backing up. Here I am again. So. I look so small over here, but anyways, there are cars going above me, trucks, semis, and it's really creepy and I hope it's not too loud to hear the video, but what a beautiful day to get out here, fresh air, exercise, and try to tell you, my friends and subscribers, how to enjoy your life more from the inside, just like I said. Your purse and your wallet and your bank account doesn't really represent true wealth. True wealth comes from within. Being happy within. Filling your cup and loving yourself. That is where true wealth lies. Inside. You hear me? Echo! Life is good. Smile. Enjoy yourself. Be spontaneous. Be playful sometimes. Bring out your inner child. Smile a lot more. That helps you. Compliment people. Be of service. 
I'm just throwing out things that will help you raise your energy and vibration and enjoy your life more. Because you know if you make someone else smile that really, truly, you feel it too. It's honestly true. So remember, reaping and sowing. So good things so that good things come back to you. That's good things like love, positivity, uh, compliments, sharing, service, everything you do of good vibration, you will reap it. So remember, no negativity, guys. No gossiping, lying, stealing, complaining, doing all those negative things because you will attract more negativity and you will reap what you sow. Positivity attracts more positivity, and negativity attracts more negativity. It's a fact. I don't really like this spot, so. Off again. But anyways, guys, I have been rambling now for like 30 minutes. I don't make long videos like this. To me, this is long. I don't make long videos like this because I want to appreciate people's time. And I'm still getting more comfortable with doing these videos. Learning as I go. But I do enjoy it. I hope I made someone learn how to enjoy their life a little more. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I apologize, traffic is right here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up, up this video. Have a sit, seat over here on this bench. Sky watch. Absorb the sun. I just want everyone to know I appreciate you watching. Thank all of my subscribers. There's more videos to come. Raise your energy and vibration. Smile. And remember, that's true. Smile. That raises your energy and vibration. And always smile because it looks good on you. See ya.